Sofia S O H F S O F S O H F Bulgarian Sofia translate Sofia IPA Sfij listen is the capital and largest city of Bulgaria The city is at the foot of Vitosha mountain in the western part of the country Being in the center of the Balkan peninsula it is midway between the Black Sea and the Adriatic Sea and closest to the Aegean Sea Sofia has been an area of human habitation since at least 7000 BC the recorded history of Sofia begins with the attestation of the conquest of Serdica by the Roman Republic in 29 BC from the Celtic tribe Serdi, raided by Huns in 343 to 347 AD and 447 AD, conquered by Visigoths in 376 to 382 AD, conquered by Avars and Slavs in 617 AD, and on the 9th of April 809 Serdica was surrendered to Crum of Bulgaria. Bulgarian rule lasted until 1018, in 1040 and 1193 to 1382, which was interrupted by more than a century of Byzantine rule, several years of Serb, Hungarian and Crusader control, and by nearly five centuries long Ottoman rule until Bulgarian rule was restored in 1878. During World War II Sofia was bombarded by the UK and US Air Forces and at the end of the war, it was seized by the Soviet Army. Being Bulgaria's primate city, Sofia is a hometown of many of the major local universities, cultural institutions and commercial companies. Sofia is one of the top 10 best places for startup business in the world, especially in information technologies. Sofia was Europe's most affordable capital to visit in 2013. The population of Sofia declined down from 70,000 in the late 18th century, through 19,000 in 1870, to 11,649 in 1878 and began increasing. Sofia hosts some 1.23 million residents within a territory of 492 square kilometres, a concentration of 17.5% of the country population within the 200th percentile of the country territory. The urban area of Sofia hosts some 1.54 million residents within 5723 square kilometers which comprises Sofia city province and parts of Sofia province Dragoman, Slivnitsa, Kostanbrod, Bozorist, Svoj, Elen Pelin, Gorna Malina, Itaiman, Kostanes and Pernik province Pernik, Radomir, representing 5.16% of the country territory. The metropolitan area of Sofia is based upon one hour of car travel time, stretches internationally and includes Dimitrovgrad in Serbia. Unlike most European metropolitan areas, it is not to be defined as a substantially functional metropolitan area, but is of the type with limited variety of functions. The metropolitan region of Sofia is inhabited by a population of 1.68 million and is made up of the whole provinces Sofia City, Sofia and Pernik, comprising more than 10,000 square kilometers. Topic: <laughs> Names. For the longest time the city possessed a Thracian name derived from the tribe Serdi who were either of Thracian, Celtic or mixed Thracian Celtic origin. The emperor Marcus Ulpius Traianus 53117 ad gave the city the combinative name of Ulpa Serdica. Ulpa may be derived from an Umbrian cognate of the Latin word lupus meaning wolf or from the Latin vulpes fox. It seems that the first written mention of Serdica was made during his reign and the last mention was in the 19th century in a Bulgarian text, Sardaki Sardaki. Other names given to Sofia, such as Serdonpolis, Serdonpolis city of the Serdi, in Greek and Triaditsa, Triaditsa Trinity, in Greek, were mentioned by Byzantine Greek sources or coins. The Slavic name Sredes, Serdek which is related to middle, Sreda, Sreda and to the city's earliest name, first appeared on paper in an 11th-century text. The city was called Atralisa by the Arab traveller Adrisi and Stralisa, Stralitsa or Stralitjan by the Crusaders. The name Sofia comes from the St. Sophia Church, as opposed to the prevailing Slavic origin of Bulgarian cities and towns. The name of this church ultimately comes from the Greek word Sophos, meaning wise or skilled. The earliest works where this latest name is registered are the duplicate of the Gospel of Serdica, in a dialogue between two salesmen from Dubrovnik around 1359, in the 14th-century Vitosha Charter of Bulgarian Tsar Ivan Shishman and in a Ragusan Merchant's Notes of 1376. In these documents the city is called Sofia, but at the same time the region and the city's inhabitants are still called Sredicheski of Sredes. 
which continued until the 20th century. The city became somehow popular to the Ottomans by the name Sofia. In 1879 there was a dispute about what the name of the new Bulgarian capital should be, when the citizens created a committee of famous people, insisting for the Slavic name. Gradually, a compromise arose, officialization of Sofia for the nationwide institutions, while legitimating the title Sredes for the administrative and church institutions. Before the latter was abandoned through the years, the city's name is pronounced by Bulgarians with a stress on the O, in contrast with the tendency of foreigners to place the stress on I. The female given name, Sofia, is pronounced by Bulgarians with a stress on the I. Geography Sofia City Province has an area of 1,344 square kilometers. Sofia's development as a significant settlement owes much to its central position in the Balkans. It is situated in western Bulgaria, at the northern foot of the Vitosha mountain, in the Sofia Valley that is surrounded by the Balkan Mountains to the north. The valley has an average altitude of 550 meters (1800 feet). Unlike most European capitals, Sofia does not have any large rivers or bridges, but is surrounded by comparatively high mountains on all sides. Three mountain passes lead to the city, which have been key roads since antiquity, Vitosha being the watershed between Black and Aegean seas. A number of low rivers cross the city, including the Vladeska and the Perlovska. The Isker River in its upper course flows near eastern Sofia. The city is known for its 49 mineral and thermal springs. Artificial and dam lakes were built in the 20th century. While the 1818 and 1858 earthquakes were intense and destructive, the 2012 Pernik earthquake occurred west of Sofia with a moment magnitude of 5.6 and a much lower Mercalli intensity of V strong. The 2014 Aegean Sea earthquake was also noticed in the city. Air pollution is a problem in Sofia due to its location in the Sofia Valley, which is surrounded by mountains that reduce the ability of the air to self-clean. The air is polluted mostly by particulate matters and nitrogen oxides. Sofia has the most polluted air of any capital in the EU. Topic. Climate Sofia has a humid continental climate, Köppen climate classification Dfb, with an average annual temperature of 10.6 degrees Celsius, 51.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters are relatively cold and snowy. In the coldest days, temperatures can drop below -15 degrees Celsius, 5 degrees Fahrenheit, most notably in January. The lowest recorded temperature is minus 28.3 degrees Celsius, minus 19 degrees Fahrenheit, the 24th of January 1942. Fog is not unusual, especially in the beginning of the season. On average, Sofia receives a total snowfall of 98 centimeters, 38.6 in, and 58 days with snow cover. The snowiest recorded winter was 1995-1996 with a total snowfall of 171 cm in. The record snow depth is 57 cm in. The 25th of December 2001, summers are quite warm and sunny. In summer, the city generally remains slightly cooler than other parts of Bulgaria, due to its higher altitude. However, the city is also subjected to heat waves with high temperatures reaching or exceeding 35 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in the hottest days, particularly in July and August. The highest recorded temperature is 41 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit the 5th of July 2000 and 24 July 2007. The hottest recorded summer was in 2012 with a daily average July temperature of 24.8 degrees Celsius, 76.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Springs and autumns in Sofia are usually short with variable and dynamic weather. The city receives an average precipitation of 581.8 mm, 22.91 in a year, reaching its peak in late spring and early summer when thunderstorms are common. The wettest recorded year was 2014 with a total precipitation of 1,066.6 mm Environment Solid fuel used for heating and motor vehicle traffic are significant air pollutants. 
Smog thus persists over the city as temperature inversions and the mountains surrounding the city prevent the circulation of air masses. As a result, air pollution levels in Sofia are some of the highest in Europe, particulate matter concentrations are consistently above the norm. During the October 2017 to March 2018 heating season, particulate levels exceeded the norm on 70 occasions. On the 7th of January 2018, PM10 levels reached 632 micrograms per cubic meter, more than 10 times the EU norm of 50 micrograms per cubic meter. Even areas with few sources of air pollution, like Gornabanya, had PM2.5 and PM10 levels above safe thresholds. In response to hazardous spikes in air pollution, the Municipal Council implemented a variety of measures in January 2018, like more frequent washing of streets. However, a report by the European Court of Auditors issued in September 2018 revealed that SOFIA has not drafted any projects to reduce air pollution from heating, a major source of particulates. The report also noted that no industrial pollution monitoring stations operate in SOFIA, even though industrial facilities are active in the city. A monitoring station on Eagles Bridge, where some of the highest particulate matter values were measured, was moved away from the location and has measured sharply lower values since then. Particulates are largely measured by a network of 300 sensors maintained by volunteers since 2017. The European Commission has taken Bulgaria to court over its failure to curb air pollution. Topic: History. Topic: Prehistory and Antiquity. Sofia has been an area of continuous human habitation since at least the 30th millennium BC. The city itself has a history of nearly 7,000 years, with the great attraction of the hot water springs that still flow abundantly in the center of the city. The Neolithic village in Slatina dating to the 5th-6th millennium BC is documented. Remains from another Neolithic settlement around the National Art Gallery are traced to the 3rd-4th millennium BC, which has been the traditional center of the city ever since. The earliest tribes who settled were the Thracian Tilatai. In the 500s BC, the area became part of a Thracian state union, the Odrysian kingdom from another Thracian tribe the Odrysses. For a short period Thracian rule was possibly interrupted by the Achaemenid Empire. In 339 BC Philip II of Macedon destroyed and ravaged the town for the first time, the Celtic tribe Serti gave their name to the city. The earliest mention of the city comes from an Athenian inscription from the 1st century BC, attesting a stu ton certain, i.e. city of the Serti. The inscription and Dio Cassius told that the Roman general Crassus subdued the Serti and behanded the captives. In 27 29 BC, according to Dio Cassius, Pliny and Ptolemy, the region, Sagetic, was attacked by Crassus, which is assumed to be Serdica, or the city of the Serti. The ancient city is located between Tzum, Sheraton Hotel and the Presidency. It gradually became the most important Roman city of the region. It became a municipium during the reign of Emperor Trajan 98 Serdica expanded, as turrets, protective walls, public baths, administrative and cult buildings, a civic basilica, an amphitheater, a circus, the city council Bulli, a large forum, a big circus theater, etc. were built. Serdica was a significant city on the Roman road via Militaris, connecting Singidunum and Byzantium. In the 3rd century, it became the capital of Dacia Aureliana, and when Emperor Diocletian divided the province of Dacia Aureliana into Dacia Ripensis at the banks of the Danube and Dacia Mediterranea, Serdica became the capital of the latter. Serdica's citizens of Thracian descent were referred to as Illyrians probably because it was at some time the capital of Eastern Illyria, Second Illyria Roman emperors Aurelian 215 and Galerius 260 were born in Serdica. The city expanded and became a significant political and economical center, more so as it became one of the first Roman cities where Christianity was recognized as an official religion under Galerius. The Edict of Toleration by Galerius was issued in 311 in Serdica by the Roman Emperor Galerius, officially ending the Diocletianic persecution of Christianity. The Edict implicitly granted Christianity the status of religio licita, a worship recognized and accepted by the Roman Empire. It was the first edict legalizing Christianity, preceding the Edict of Milan by two years. For Constantine the Great it was Sardica mea Roma est, Serdica is my Rome. 
He considered making Serdica the capital of the Byzantine Empire instead of Constantinople, which was already not dissimilar to a tetrarchic capital of the Roman Empire. In 343 AD, the Council of Sardica was held in the city, in a church located where the current 6th-century Church of St. Sophia was later built. The city was destroyed in the 447 invasion of the Huns and the city laid in ruins for a century it was rebuilt by Byzantine Emperor Justinian I. During the reign of Justinian it flourished, being surrounded with great fortress walls whose remnants can still be seen today. Archaeology Many remains of the ancient city have been excavated and are on public display today. These include Complex Ancient Serdica Eastern Gate Western Gate City Walls Thermal Baths Bridge over the River Fourth Sea, Church of St. George Rotunda Amphitheater of Serdica The Tombs and Basilicas under the Basilica of St. Sophia Topic. Middle Ages The city first became part of the First Bulgarian Empire during the reign of Khan Krum in 809, after a long siege. After Vards, it grew into an important fortress and administrative center when Khan Omortag made it a center of Sredes province after the conquest of the Bulgarian capital Preslav by Sviatoslav I of Kiev and John I Zimisks's armies in 970–971, the Bulgarian Patriarch Damian chose Sofia for his seat in the next year and the capital of Bulgaria was first moved to Sredes. In the second half of 10th century the city was ruled by Komet Nikola and his sons, popular as Komitopoli. One of them is Samuel, who became an emperor of Bulgaria in 997. After a number of unsuccessful sieges, the city fell to the Byzantine Empire in 1018, but once again was incorporated into the restored Bulgarian Empire at the time of Tsar Ivan Asinai. Topic: <laughs> Early Modern History. In 1385, Sofia was seized by the Ottoman Empire in the course of the Bulgarian-Ottoman Wars. Around 1393 it became the seat of newly established Sanjak of Sofia. The city was occupied by Hungarian forces for a short time in 1443. After the failed crusade of Vladislaw III of Poland in 1443 towards Sofia, the city's Christian faced persecution and the city became the capital of the Ottoman province of Rumelia for more than four centuries. During that time Sofia was the largest import-export base in modern-day Bulgaria for the caravan trade with the Republic of Ragusa. In the 15th and 16th century, Sofia was expanded by Ottoman building activity. Public investments in infrastructure, education and local economy brought greater diversity to the city. Amongst others, the population consisted of Muslims, Bulgarian and Greek-speaking Orthodox Christians, Armenians, Georgians, Catholic Ragusans, Jews Romaniot, Ashkenazi and Sephardi, and Romani people. When it comes to the cityscape, 16th-century sources mention eight Friday mosques, three public libraries, numerous schools, twelve churches, three synagogues, and the largest Badesan market of the Balkans. Additionally, there were fountains and hammams bathhouses. Some prominent churches such as St. Sophia had been converted into mosques. In total there were 11 big and over 100 small mosques by the 17th century, of which only the Banya Bashi remains as a mosque today. The town was seized for several weeks by Bulgarian Hajduks in 1599. In 1610 the Vatican established the See of Sophia for Catholics of Rumelia, which existed until 1715 when most Catholics had emigrated. The town was the center of Sofia Islet (1826–1864). Nedelia Petkova created the first Bulgarian school for women in the city. In 1873, the Ottomans hanged in Sofia the Bulgarian revolutionary Vasil Levski. Topic: <laughs> Modern and contemporary history. During the Russo-Turkish War of 1877–78, Suleiman Pasha threatened to burn the city in defense, but the foreign diplomats Leandre Legay, Vito Positano, Rabbi Gabriel Almosnino and Joseph Valdhart refused to leave the city thus saving it. Many Bulgarian residents of Sofia armed themselves and sided with the Russian forces. 
Sofia was relieved see Battle of Sofia from Ottoman rule by Russian forces under Gen. Iosif Gurko on 4 January 1878. It was proposed as a capital by Marin Drinov and was accepted as such on 3 April 1879. By the time of its liberation the population of the city was 11,649, most mosques in Sofia were destroyed in that war, seven of them destroyed in one night in December 1878 when a thunderstorm masked the noise of the explosions arranged by Russian military engineers. Following the war, the great majority of the Muslim population left Sofia. For a few decades after the liberation, Sofia experienced large population growth, mainly by migration from other regions of the Principality Kingdom since 1908 of Bulgaria, and from the still Ottoman Macedonia and Thrace. In 1900, the first electric light bulb in the city was turned on. In the Second Balkan War, Bulgaria was fighting alone practically all of its neighboring countries. When the Romanian army entered Vrajadevna in 1913, then a village 7 miles 11 kilometers from Sofia, now a suburb, this prompted the serdom of Bulgaria to capitulate. In 1925 a terrorist act of ultra-leftists failed their attempted assassination of the king but resulted in the destruction of the St. Nedelia Church and many victims. During the Second World War, Bulgaria declared war on the US and UK on 13 December 1941 and in late 1943 and early 1944 the US and UK air forces conducted bombings over Sofia. As a consequence of the bombings around 2,000 people were killed and thousands of buildings were destroyed or damaged including the Capitol Library and thousands of books. In 1944 Sofia and the rest of Bulgaria was occupied by the Soviet Red Army and within days of the Soviet invasion Bulgaria declared war on Nazi Germany. In 1945 the Communist Fatherland Front took power and executed several thousand people. The transformations of Bulgaria into the People's Republic of Bulgaria in 1946 and into the Republic of Bulgaria in 1990 marked significant changes in the city's appearance. The population of Sofia expanded rapidly due to migration from rural regions. New residential areas were built in the outskirts of the city, like Druzhba, Mladost and Lyulin. During the Communist Party rule a number of the city's most emblematic streets and squares were renamed for ideological reasons, with the original names restored after 1989, the Georgi Dimitrov Mausoleum, where Dimitrov's body had been preserved in a similar way to the Lenin Mausoleum, was demolished in 1999. Topic. Cityscape In Sofia there are 607,473 dwellings and 101,696 buildings. According to modern records 39,551 dwellings were constructed until 1949, 119,943 between 1950 and 1969, 287,191 between 1970 and 1989, 57,916 in the 90s and 102,623 between 2000 and 2011. Until 1949, 13,114 buildings were constructed and between 10,000 to 20,000 in each following decade. Sofia's architecture combines a wide range of architectural styles, some of which are aesthetically incompatible. These vary from Christian Roman architecture and medieval Bulgar fortresses to neoclassicism and prefabricated socialist-era apartment blocks. A number of ancient Roman, Byzantine and medieval Bulgarian buildings are preserved in the center of the city. These include the 4th century rotunda of St. George, the walls of the Serdica fortress and the partially preserved amphitheater of Serdica. After the Liberation War, Nyas Alexander Battenberg invited architects from Austria-Hungary to shape the new capital's architectural appearance. Among the architects invited to work in Bulgaria were Friedrich Grunanger, Adolf Václav Kohler, and Viktor Rumpelmayer, who designed the most important public buildings needed by the newly re-established Bulgarian government, as well as numerous houses for the country's elite. Later, many foreign-educated Bulgarian architects also contributed. The architecture of Sofia's center is thus a combination of neo-Baroque, neo-Rococo, neo-Renaissance and neoclassicism, with the Vienna Secession also later playing an important part, but it is most typically Central European. After World War II and the establishment of a communist government in Bulgaria in 1944, the architectural style was substantially altered. 
Stalinist Gothic public buildings emerged in the center, notably the spacious government complex around the Largo, Vasil Levski Stadium, the Cyril and Methodius National Library and others. As the city grew outwards, the then new neighborhoods were dominated by many concrete tower blocks, prefabricated panel apartment buildings and examples of brutalist architecture. After the abolition of communism in 1989, Sofia witnessed the construction of whole business districts and neighborhoods, as well as modern skyscraper-like glass-fronted office buildings, but also top-class residential neighborhoods. The 126-meter Capital Fort Business Center will be the first skyscraper in Bulgaria, with 36 floors. However, the end of the old administration and centrally planned system also paved the way for chaotic and unrestrained construction, which continues today. Architectural styles in Sofia Topic. Green areas The city has an extensive green belt. Some of the neighborhoods constructed after 2000 are densely built up and lack green spaces. There are four principal parks, Borisova Gradina in the city center and the southern, western and northern parks. Several smaller parks, among which the Zaymiv Park, City Garden and the Doctors' Garden, are located in central Sofia. The Vitosha Nature Park, the oldest national park in the Balkans, includes most of Vitosha Mountain and covers an area of 266 square kilometers, 103 square miles, with roughly half of it lying within the municipality of Sofia. Vitosha Mountain is a popular hiking destination due to its proximity and ease of access via car and public transport. Two functioning cable cars provide year-long access from the outskirts of the city. The mountain offers favorable skiing conditions during the winter and during the 70s and the 80s multiple ski slopes of various difficulty were made available. Skiing equipment can be rented and skiing lessons are available. However, due to the bad communication between the private offshore company that runs the resort and Sofia municipality, most of the ski area has been left to decay in the last 10 years so that currently there is only one chairlift and one slope working. Topic. Government and law Topic. Local government Sofia municipality is identical to Sofia city province, which is distinct from Sofia province, which surrounds but does not include the capital itself. Besides the city proper, the 24 districts of Sofia municipality encompass three other towns and 34 villages. Districts and settlements have their own governor who is elected in a popular election. The assembly members are chosen every four years. The common head of Sofia municipality and all the 38 settlements is the mayor of Sofia. The current mayor Yordanka Fandikova is serving a third consecutive term, having won the 2015 election at first round with 238,500 votes, or 60.2% of the vote, when reformist bloc opponent Vili Lilkov was second with 9.6%, the turnout was 41.25%. Some party leaders claimed that ballots were falsified and called for annulment of the election. A precedent happened, due to the suspicion, as a preventative action between 300 and 5,000 people and counters had been locked inside Arena Armits against their will for two days, following which the director of the Electoral Commission of Sofia resigned at the request of Prime Minister Boyko Borisov. <laughs> National government Sofia is the seat of the Executive Council of Ministers, Legislative National Assembly and Judiciary Supreme Court and Constitutional Court bodies of Bulgaria, as well as all government agencies, ministries, the National Bank, and the delegation of the European Commission. The President, along with the Council of Ministers, is located on Independence Square, also known as the Largo or the Triangle of Power. One of the three buildings in the architectural ensemble, the former Bulgarian Communist Party headquarters, is due to become the seat of the parliament. A refurbishment project is due to be completed in mid-2019, while the old National Assembly building will become a museum or will only host ceremonial political events. Under Bulgaria's centralized political system, Sofia concentrates much of the political and financial resources of the country. It is the only city in Bulgaria to host three electoral constituencies, the 23rd, 24th and 25th multi-member constituencies, which together field 42 mandates in the 240-member National Assembly. Crime 
with a murder rate of 1.8 per 100.000 people as of 2009, Sofia is a quite safe capital city. Nevertheless, in the 21st century, crimes, including Bulgarian mafia killings, caused problems in the city, where authorities had difficulties convicting the actors, which had caused the European Commission to warn the Bulgarian government that the country would not be able to join the EU unless it curbed crime Bulgaria eventually joined in 2007. Many of the most severe crimes are contract killings connected to the organized crime, but these had dropped in recent years after several arrests of gang members. Corruption in Bulgaria also affects Sofia's authorities. According to the director of Sofia District Police Directorate the largest share of the crimes are thefts, making up 62.4% of all crimes in the capital city. Increasing are frauds, drug-related crimes, petty theft and vandalism. According to a survey, almost a third of Sofia's residents say that they never feel safe in the Bulgarian capital, while 20% always feel safe. As of 2015 the consumer reported perceived crime risk on the Numbio database was high for theft and vandalism and low for violent crimes, safety while walking during daylight was rated very high and moderate during the night. With 1,600 prisoners the incarceration rate is above 0.1%, however, roughly 70% of all prisoners are part of the Romani minority. Topic. Culture Topic. Arts and entertainment Sofia concentrates the majority of Bulgaria's leading performing arts troupes. Theatre is by far the most popular form of performing art, and theatrical venues are among the most visited, second only to cinemas. There were 3,162 theatric performances with 570,568 people attending in 2014. The Ivan Vazov National Theatre, which performs mainly classical plays and is situated in the very centre of the city, is the most prominent theatre. The National Opera and Ballet of Bulgaria is a combined opera and ballet collective established in 1891. Regular performances began in 1909. Some of Bulgaria's most famous operatic singers, such as Nikolai Giorov and Gena Dimitrova, made their first appearances on the stage of the National Opera and Ballet. Cinema is the most popular form of entertainment. There were more than 141,000 film shows with a total attendance exceeding 2,700,000 in 2014. Over the past two decades, numerous independent cinemas have closed and most shows are in shopping mall multiplexes. Odeon, not part of the Odeon Cinemas chain, shows exclusively European and independent American films, as well as 20th century classics. The Boyana Film Studios was at the center of a once thriving domestic film industry, which declined significantly after 1990. New Image acquired the studios to upgrade them into new Boyana Film Studios, used to shoot scenes for a number of action movies like The Expendables 2, Rambo V and London Has Fallen. Bulgaria's largest art museums are located in the central areas of the city. Since 2015, the National Art Gallery, the National Gallery for Foreign Art NGFA, and the Museum of Contemporary Art, Sofia Arsenal were merged to form the National Gallery. Its largest branch is KVA Drat 500, located on the NFGA premises, where some 2,000 works are on display in 28 exhibition halls. The collections encompass diverse cultural items, from Ashanti Empire sculptures and Buddhist art to Dutch Golden Age painting, works by Albrecht Dürer, Jean-Baptiste Gruz and Auguste Rodin. The Crypt of the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral is another branch of the National Gallery. It holds a collection of Eastern Orthodox icons from the 9th to the 19th century. The National History Museum, located in Boyana, it has a vast collection of more than 650,000 historical items dating from prehistory to the modern era, although only 10,000 of them are permanently displayed due to the lack of space. Smaller collections of historical items are displayed in the National Archaeological Museum, a former mosque located between the edifices of the National Bank and the Presidency. Two natural sciences museums—the Natural History Museum and Earth and Man, display minerals, animal species alive and taxidermic and rare materials. The Ethnographic Museum and the Museum of Military History hold large collections of Bulgarian folk costumes and armaments, respectively. The Polytechnical Museum has more than 1,000 technological items on display. The SS. 
Cyril and Methodius National Library, the foremost information repository in the country, holds some 1,800,000 books and more than 7 million documents, manuscripts, maps, and other items. The city houses many cultural institutes such as the Russian Cultural Institute, the Polish Cultural Institute, the Hungarian Institute, the Czech and the Slovak Cultural Institutes, the Italian Cultural Institute, Confucius Institute, Institut Francais, Goethe Institute, British Council, and Instituto Cervantes, which regularly organize temporary expositions of visual, sound and literary works by artists from their respective countries. Some of the biggest telecommunications companies, TV and radio stations, newspapers, magazines, and web portals are based in Sofia, including the Bulgarian National Television, BTV and Nova TV. Top circulation newspapers include 24 Chasa and Trude. The Boyana Church, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, contains realistic frescoes, depicting more than 240 human images and a total 89 scenes, were painted. With their vital, humanistic realism they are a Renaissance phenomenon at its culmination phase in the context of the common European art. Tourism Sofia is one of the most visited tourist destinations in Bulgaria alongside coastal and mountain resorts. Among its highlights is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, one of the symbols of Bulgaria, constructed in the late 19th century. It occupies an area of 3,170 square metres square feet and can hold 10,000 people. Vitosha Boulevard, also called Vitoshka, is a pedestrian zone with numerous cafes, restaurants, fashion boutiques, and luxury goods stores. Sofia's geographic location, in the foothills of the weekend retreat Vitosha Mountain, further adds to the city's specific atmosphere. Sports A large number of sports clubs are based in the city. During the communist era most sports clubs concentrated on all-round sporting development, therefore CSKA, Levski, Lokomotiv and Slavia are dominant not only in football, but in many other team sports as well. Basketball and volleyball also have strong traditions in Sofia. A notable local basketball team is twice European Champions Cup finalist Lukoil Academic. The Bulgarian Volleyball Federation is the world's second oldest, and it was an exhibition tournament organized by the BVF in Sofia that convinced the International Olympic Committee to include volleyball as an Olympic sport in 1957. Tennis is increasingly popular in the city. Currently there are some 10 tennis court complexes within the city including the one founded by former WTA top 10 athlete Magdalena Maliva. Sofia applied to host the Winter Olympic Games in 1992 and in 1994, coming second and third respectively. The city was also an applicant for the 2014 Winter Olympics, but was not selected as candidate. In addition, Sofia hosted Eurobasket 1957 and the 1961 and 1977 Summer Universities, as well as the 1983 and 1989 Winter Editions. In 2012, it hosted the FIVB World League Finals. The city is home to a number of large sports venues, including the 43,000-seat Vasil Levski National Stadium which hosts international football matches, as well as the Georgi Asperuhov Stadium and Lokomotiv Stadium, the main venues for outdoor musical concerts. Armeets Arena holds many indoor events and has a capacity of up to 19,000 people depending on its use. The venue was inaugurated on 30 July 2011, and the first event it hosted was a friendly volleyball match between Bulgaria and Serbia. There are two ice skating complexes. The Winter Sports Palace with a capacity of 4,600 and the Slavia Winter Stadium with a capacity of 2,000, both containing two rinks each. A velodrome with 5,000 seats in the city's central park is currently undergoing renovation. There are also various other sports complexes in the city which belong to institutions other than football clubs, such as those of the National Sports Academy, the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences, or those of different universities. There are more than 15 swimming complexes in the city, most of them outdoor. Nearly all of these were constructed as competition venues and therefore have seating facilities for several hundred people. There are two golf courses just to the east of Sofia, in Ellen Pelin Saint Sophia Club and in Itaiman Air Sophia Club and a horse riding club Saint George Club Sophia was designated as European Capital of Sport in 2018 
The decision was announced in November 2014 by the Evaluation Committee of ACES Europe, on the grounds that the city is a good example of sport for all, as means to improve healthy lifestyle, integration and education, which are the basis of the initiative. Topic. Demographics Population growth over the years in thousands According to 2018 data, the city has a population of 1,238,438 and the whole Sofia capital municipality of 1,325,429. The first census carried out in February 1878 by the Russian army recorded a population of 11,694 inhabitants including 6,560 Bulgarians, 3,538 Jews, 839 Turks and 737 Romani. The ratio of women per 1,000 men was 1,102. The birth rate per 1,000 people was 12.3 per mil and steadily increasing in the last five years, the death rate reaching 12.1 per mil and decreasing. The natural growth rate during 2009 was 0 0.2 per mil, the first positive growth rate in nearly 20 years. The considerable immigration to the capital from poorer regions of the country, as well as urbanization, are among the other reasons for the increase in Sofia's population. The infant mortality rate was 5.6 per 1,000, down from 18.9 in 1980. According to the 2011 census, people aged 20 to 24 years are the most numerous group, numbering 133,170 individuals and accounting for 11% of the total 1,202,761 people. The median age is 38 though. According to the census, 1,056,738 citizens .9 are recorded as ethnic Bulgarians, 17,550 as Romani, 6,149 as Turks, 9,569 belong to other ethnic groups, 6,993 do not self-identify and 105,762 8.8% remained with undeclared affiliation. This statistic should not necessarily be taken at face value due to conflicting data, such as for the predominantly Roma neighborhood of Facultata, which alone may have a population of 45,000. According to the 2011 census, throughout the whole municipality some 892,511 people .1 are recorded as Eastern Orthodox Christians, 10,256 as Protestant, 6,767 0.5% as Muslim, 5,572 0.4% as Roman Catholic, 4,010 0.3% belong to other faith and 372,475 28.8% declared themselves irreligious or did not mention any faith. The data says that roughly a third of the total population have already earned a university degree. Of the population aged 15 to 64, 265,248 people within the municipality, 28.5% are not economically active. The unemployed being another group of 55,553 people, 6%, a large share of whom have completed higher education. The largest group are occupied in trading, followed by those in manufacturing industry. Within the municipality, three quarters, or 965,328 people are recorded as having access to television at home and 836,435 as having internet. Out of 464,865 homes 432,847 have connection to the communal sanitary sewer, while 2,732 do not have any. Of these 864 do not have any water supply and 688 have other than communal. Over 99.6% of males and females aged over 9 are recorded as literate. The largest group of the population aged over 20 are recorded to live within marriage 46.3%, another 43.8% are recorded as single and another 9.9% as having other type of coexistence, partnership, whereas not married in total are a majority and among people aged up to 40 and over 70. The people with juridical status divorced or widowed are either part of the factual singles or those having another type of partnership, each of the two constitutes by around 10% of the population aged over 20. 
Only over 1% of the juridically married do not de facto live within marriage. The families that consist of two people are 46.8%, another 34.2% of the families are made up by three people, whereas most of the households consist of only one person. Sofia was declared the national capital in 1879. One year later, in 1880, it was the fifth largest city in the country after Plovdiv, Varna, Ruz, and Schumann. Plovdiv remained the most populous Bulgarian town until 1892 when Sofia took the lead. The city is the hot spot of internal migration, the capital population is increasing and is around 17% of the national, thus a small number of people with local roots remain today, they dominate the surrounding rural suburbs and are called Shapi. Shapi speak one of the transitional South Slavic dialects, along with Torlakian, sharing features with both Eastern Bulgarian and, Macedonian and Western Serbo-Croatian branches, although they are given non-Slavic origin through the ancient Thracian Serti, the founders of the city. Topic. Economy Sofia is the economic hub of Bulgaria and home to most major Bulgarian and international companies operating in the country, the National Bank and the Bulgarian Stock Exchange. The city's GDP PPS per capita stood at €29,600 in 2015, one of the lowest for a capital region in the EU, but well above other cities in the country. Nominal GDP in 2014 was 32.8 billion leva, 19.1 billion dollars. The average per capita annual income was 6890 leva, 4019 dollars in 2014, and average monthly wages in June 2018 were 880 dollars, the highest nationally. Services dominate the economy, accounting for 85.9% of gross value added. In 2015, Forbes listed Sofia as one of the top 10 places in the world to launch a startup business. Because of the low corporate tax, 10%, the fast internet connection speeds available, one of the fastest in the world, and the presence of several investment funds, including 11 startup accelerator, Launchub, and Nevik. Historically, after World War II and the era of industrialization under socialism, the city and its surrounding areas expanded rapidly and became the most heavily industrialized region of the country. The influx of workers from other parts of the country became so intense that a restriction policy was imposed, and residing in the capital was only possible after obtaining Sofianite citizenship. However, after the political changes in 1989, this kind of citizenship was removed. In 2015 Globalization and World Cities Research Institute ranked Sofia as Beta World City. Up until 2007 Sofia experienced rapid economic growth. In 2008, apartment prices increased dramatically, with a growth rate of 30%. In 2009, prices fell by 26%. In January 2015 Sofia was ranked 30th out of 300 global cities in terms of combined growth in employment and real gross domestic product GDP per capita in 2013-2014. This was the highest rank amongst cities in Southeast Europe. The real GDP PPP per capita growth was 2.5% to €33,105 and the employment went up by 3.4% to €962,400 in 2013-2014. Transport and infrastructure With its developing infrastructure and strategic location, Sofia is a major hub for international railway and automobile transport. Three of the ten pan-European transport corridors cross the city, IV, 8 and X all major types of transport except water are represented in the city. The central railway station is the primary hub for domestic and international rail transport. Sofia has 186 kilometers 116 miles of railway lines. Sofia Airport handled 4,980,387 passengers in 2016. Public transport is well developed with bus 2,380 kilometers, 1,479 miles, tram 308 kilometers, 191 miles, and trolleybus 193 kilometers, 120 miles. Lines running in all areas of the city. The Sofia Metro became operational in 1998, and now has two lines and 34 stations. As of 2012, the system has 39 kilometers 24 miles of track. 
Six new stations were opened in 2009, two more in April 2012, and 11 more in August 2012. In 2015 new seven stations were opened and the subway extends to Sofia Airport on its northern branch and to Business Park Sofia on its southern branch. On July 2016 the Vitosha Metro station was opened on the M2 main line. A third line is currently under construction and is expected to be finished in the second half of 2019. This line will complete the proposed subway system of three lines with about 65 kilometers 40 miles of lines. The master plan for the Sofia Metro includes three lines with a total of 63 stations. In recent years the Marshrutka, a private passenger van serving fixed routes, proved an efficient and popular means of transport by being faster than public transport, but cheaper than taxis. As of 2005 these vans numbered 368 and serviced 48 lines around the city and suburbs. There are around 13,000 taxi cabs operating in the city. Low fares in comparison with other European countries, make taxis affordable and popular among a big part of the city population. Private automobile ownership has grown rapidly in the 1990s, more than one million cars were registered in Sofia after 2002. The city has the fourth highest number of automobiles per capita in the European Union at 546.4 vehicles per 1,000 people. The municipality was known for minor and cosmetic repairs and many streets are in a poor condition. This is noticeably changing in the past years. There are different boulevards and streets in the city with a higher amount of traffic than others. These include Saragradsko shows, Cherny Vra, Bulgaria, Slivnitsa and Todor Aleksandrov boulevards, as well as the city's Ring Road, where long chains of cars are formed at peak hours and traffic jams occur regularly. Consequently, traffic and air pollution problems have become more severe and receive regular criticism in local media. The extension of the underground system is hoped to alleviate the city's immense traffic problems. Sofia has an extensive district heating system based around four combined heat and power CHP plants and boiler stations. Virtually the entire city 900,000 households and 5,900 companies is centrally heated, using residual heat from electricity generation 3,000 megawatts and gas and oil-fired heating furnaces, total heat capacity is 4,640 megawatts. The heat distribution piping network is 900 kilometers 559 miles long and comprises 14,000 substations and 10,000 heated buildings. Topic. Education and science Much of Bulgaria's educational capacity is concentrated in Sofia. There are 221 general, 11 special and 7 arts or sports schools, 56 vocational gymnasiums and colleges, and 4 independent colleges. The city also hosts 23 of Bulgaria's 51 higher education establishments and more than 105,000 university students. The American College of Sofia, a private secondary school with roots in a school founded by American missionaries in 1860, is among the oldest American educational institutions outside of the United States. A number of secondary language schools provide education in a selected foreign language. These include the First English Language School, 91st German Language School, 164th Spanish Language School, and the Lycée Francais. These are among the most sought after secondary schools, along with Vladislav the Grammarian 72nd Secondary School and the High School of Mathematics, which topped the 2018 preference list for high school candidates. Higher education includes four of the five highest ranking national universities Sofia University, University of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy, the Technical University of Sofia, University of National and World Economy, and the University of Mining and Geology. Sofia University was founded in 1888. More than 20,000 students study in its 16 faculties. A number of research and cultural departments operate within SU, including its own publishing house, botanical gardens, a space research center, a quantum electronics department, and a Confucius Institute Rakovsky Defense and Staff College. The National Academy of Arts, and Sofia Medical University are other major higher education establishments in the city. Other institutions of national significance, such as the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences and the SS. Cyril and Methodius National Library are located in Sofia. BA is the centerpiece of scientific research in Bulgaria, employing more than 4,500 scientists in various institutes. 
Its Institute of Nuclear Research and Nuclear Energy will operate the largest cyclotron in the country. Topic: International Relations. Topic: Twin and Sister Cities. Sofia is twinned with Topic. Cooperation agreements In addition Sofia has cooperation agreements with Budapest, Hungary Paris, France Lisbon, Portugal Topic. Honor Serdica Peak on Livingston Island in the South Shetland Islands, Antarctica is named after Serdica. Topic. See also List of churches in Sofia List of shopping malls in Sofia List of tallest buildings in Sofia Sofia Province Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Sofia in Figures PDF in Bulgarian and English National Statistical Institute of Bulgaria 2016 Retrieved the 26th of October 2018 Topic Further reading Jigova Irina March 2011 The City and the Nation Sofia's Trajectory from Glory to Rubble in World War II Journal of Urban History. 37 2, 155 175. The 110 footnotes provide a guide to the literature on the city. Sophia in Figures 2009. PDF. Regional Statistical Office of Sophia, 2009. Archived from the original PDF on the 11th of October 2011. Sophia 130 years capital. In Bulgarian. Archived from the original on 28 January 2011. External links Official website Online guide to Sofia Official site of Sofia Public Transport Sofia at Curlie Archival images of Sofia Sofia by Night Light, a photographic exhibition Virtual Guide to Ancient Serdica More than 25 live webcams from Sofia Pictures from Vitosha Mountain